That's amazing. Is it? What's so good about it? Everything. Soft, perfectly baked, chocolatey, sugary. Sugary. You love sugar. I'm going to have to have one bite of one. I'm not even going to eat a whole cookie. Welcome to Harrison's Messy Kitchen. <laughs> the cream. No, you don't the cream. add cream. The you cream. make them cream. Whoa. <laughs> some gooey cookie dough. Oh, that's too much. We are in the kitchen, as you can see. And we have some neighbors that moved in down there and over there. And we thought it would be nice to them to make them some cookies as a uh, welcome to the neighborhood. Schultz family recipe chocolate chip cookies, yep. right? Yep. So the first thing we gotta do is we gotta put, how, how much butter did we decide we needed? A whole cup, right? Yep. We're doubling the recipe. The recipe calls for a half a cup, so now we gotta put in a whole cup, right? Oh, I got butter on my finger. Well, that's fine. You can, I'll get you a napkin. Don't wipe it on the cabinet. Well, I already did. Well, now <laughs> wipe that off, you turd. Right now I'm gonna show you what we use so that you can make some of your own cookies at home. We use some butter. <laughs> now you can let go of one side and hold that side. <laughs> okay. My gosh. <laughs> and uh, shortening. It says. One cup. Yeah, you wanna unwrap it? Sure. Uh, what is shortening? Oh, white stuff. Basically fat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. So yeah. just like the butter, right? Yeah. There you go. There we go. And then the last thing is the brown sugar. Single recipe calls for one and a half cups. So how many cups do we need? If we need one and a half cups. Three. For, yeah. It, it appears Am right. I at three cups yet? Nope. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just dump it. Bung. All right, so now it says we gotta cream these. Okay, so Where, to cream the cream? them. The cream. No, you don't the cream. add cream. The you cream. make them cream. You get it? There you go. Three. Now start mixing it together. Yep. All around. Welcome to Harrison's Messy Kitchen. <laughs> actually, no, it actually looks like dog pew. Dog pew. Lovely. It really does. Dear neighbor, please accept our dog poop cookies, dog puke cookies that we made for you. You're very welcome. Love the Schultz fam. Some eggs. Let me finish beating these eggs and you can pour those in, okay? Okay. Don't drop it in the thing. Okay, I will. <laughs> it drops it. Now it says the vanilla. Pure vanilla extract. Dump it. This is actually really satisfying to watch that. That looks like like the batter or something. It's like cookie dough almost, right? Yeah. And some pre some pre-sifted all-purpose flour. Two and a half cups of flour. So how many total? Uh three. No, we know five. Yes. <laughs> Do not make our neighbors sick because of flour. <laughs> Isn't that five cups? Yeah, about five cups. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll add a little bit more. So you want to dump that in? It's heavy. Just keep mixing it all around. I'll add a tiny bit more. Um, our kitchen's gonna turn into like flour dust. Flour dust? Yeah. Some chocolate chip cookies and the bag's empty. Not chocolate chip cookies, chocolate chips. Uh, oh yeah, chocolate chips. <laughs> That's not that. Oh boy. <laughs> yes, I saved one. All right, how's it look? Like cookie dough? Or some gooey cookie dough. And you're gonna dip it in there and get about a chunk that big? Oh my, <laughs> that's quite a cookie. <laughs> what is? Wait, I need to use this. No, you really don't. Yeah, I do. If there's any remaining cookie dough, can I have it? Yeah, you can try some. Perfect. There we go. Oven time. And it says they cook for eight to 10 minutes. Okay. In they go. Good cookie always needs a glass of milk to go with it. <laughs> Whoa, those are some fat cookies. I don't like overdone cookies. That's amazing. Is it? What's so good about it? 
Everything. Better than Toll House store-bought cookies? Uh-huh.